don't know why Carlo's um, internet so bad tonight because he's on the same internet as me. But you just yeah, you I've like, set the route. Uh, you... Teleport. My camera's the... like perfect to me. Like, anyway, it doesn't matter. It doesn't I'm matter. H- anyway, so what do you guys want to do now? I think we should do what we can in Portlandia here or whatever it's called. Uh... I think we'll go rendezvous with Brady. Okay. Tell him what that we'll probably end up going investigating this place. Yes. Get a pint, Dennis. <laughs> yes. And we need to yeah investigate the uh, sh- and then we'll and then, yeah and then we'll go check out the dock. Okay, hold on a second. God, I hope we fight a giant spider. <laughs> I want to fight a big God. giant kangaroo. Oh, a camel. <laughs> punch it out. You want to you want to handle a camel? <laughs> I- I'll punch a camel. <laughs> Real life. No, no, they're very strong. <laughs> punch. <laughs> Would you punch a cat? I wouldn't punch a kangaroo. Is that, is that down to experience, as you? I know they're very strong camels. <laughs> big jaws, big strong humps on the back. <laughs> strong? Big, strong the lumps hump. are fat. How are they strong? Oh, if, if you punch that... <laughs> what the fuck right, are you guys okay, talking so where are we going? <laughs> uh, to where Brady is. Uh, we're going to the bar, aren't we, to yeah. see uh, Brady? All right, so you head to the bar. It's like um, it's a relatively rowdy bar. It's um, like it's it kind of has a look almost of like um, like a, a western, like a wild west kind of saloon kind of place. It's a bit more. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> it's a little more modern than that, but it's like got that kind of like everything's kind of wood and a bit ramshackle to it. Um, like, like Crocodile Dundee, where you guys to sort of home. Um, yeah, you know the uh, you know we played knifey spoony in that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, hundred dollar reduce. <laughs> uh, but yeah, everyone, yeah. this kind of general, there's like, like there's a general kind of um, frivolity and ha- and like cheer. And, like it's not like a like one of these places where you walk in and everyone stops and looks at you. Everyone's kind of having a decent time, and um, it's it's still early in the day, so nothing's got too out of hand just yet. Yeah, everyone's friendly. I like that. Yeah, where well, everybody knows you. Any interesting looking <laughs> characters in here? Uh, Brady. Just... Apart from us. <laughs> And Brady. Brady stands out. He's glowing. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. Um, no, it's a bit quiet in here at the minute. Like it's early in the day. There's not. It's a bit quiet. It's not. There's nobody. There's nobody who massively stands out. Apart from Brady. Quiet bar in Australia. What the it's, it's, it's like it's like, it's like it's like it's like two p.m. You know, it's not. It's not kicking off yet. <laughs> I guess we'll it's get off the <laughs> What do you What do you want to drink, Vincent? I'd like an apple juice. Exactly. I, I went a bit over the top with that kind of. <laughs> well, one beer. You knock up. <laughs> I'm dehydrated off the sun. Uh, yeah. So yeah, like um, the uh, the uh, the guy behind the bar says, sure, I can, we can we can we can give you an apple juice um if you if you're not man enough for anything stronger. No, I asked for an apple juice. I'll thank ha- you, sir. I'll I'm have surprised. a beer. <laughs> I'm surprised. Uh, for for the record, I could kill an apple juice right now. Oh, it'd be so nice. He says, "No, we can we can we can get you an apple juice. We have a we have a kids menu, don't we?" <laughs> I don't care. It's just a half pipe. <laughs> he, he's he's secure in his masculinity, <laughs> as am I. Give me a beer, please. <laughs> he says, "Yeah, here's your manly beer, and here's your apple juice." <laughs> you want me to start acting like a kid? Yeah, you know, like slam some glasses off the uh, the bar, slide them off. <laughs> Sorry. He says, "Will you pick this up, please?" I can't. They're all broken. They're not. They're not. They're, they just bounce <laughs> off the ground. They're quite. They're quite tough glasses. Bounce off the ground. I catch them. No, I'll pick them up. We've had our fun. I drink my beer. <laughs> I can't wait for the apple juice. He's giving you it. Oh, thanks. Can I slap, Can I slap Vincent? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Kills me. You don't have to roll for it. You just slap him. <laughs> okay, I slap him. And, you know. Stop being a prick. I'll have a cranberry juice as well while I'm on. So I don't, we don't have cranberries. Anyway, <laughs> <Sweet Brady. down. laughs> I'm really thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, no, no cranberry juice. Oh, okay. Just another shot of apple. <laughs> a shot. <laughs> apple tizer. <laughs> so so one... is Brady here next to yeah, us at this Yeah, point? Brady's watching this whole exchange, like, bewildered. <laughs> you know so am I. So it's... am I. <laughs> like... <laughs> it's the heat. It's the heat. Not used to it. He said, "Yeah, Brady says like I guess you guys don't get out here much." Yes, we don't get out to Australia much. <laughs> <laughs> I've been meaning to make time. Just works, you know. <laughs> Can't In another, another, the other side of the globe. Yeah. But yeah, anyway. So <laughs> he says, "Well, that's unfortunate, guys." He says, "It's uh, this can be a wonderful place. Maybe not uh, 
Port Headland, you're not probably going to get your best tourist sites, but there's some, you know, apart from the heat, it's quite nice out here. What do you know about the black sands? Uh, straight the to... sand bats. It says, um, it says I, I would, I would, I would guess, but I mean, I, I don't really know because I mean, I haven't, I haven't, I'm, I'm no expert on Australia, but the um, the the cults of Nyarlathotep seem to take different names in whatever whatever country you're, you're involved. I mean, the Nyarlathotep is, of course, the god of many faces, so um, each sort of um, society worships that worships it in their own way. I, w I could only presume that um, the cult of the sand bat is the the, the form that's taken here. Yeah, that's, the, awesome, it's buddy. meant to take different forms, isn't it? Depending mm. on who, or well, I don't know if it's defined by who's worshiping it or where it's being worshipped, but yeah. it definitely takes different forms in different. That's why it's areas called. That's actually world. why it's called. I think that's why it's called Masks of Nyarlathotep. Actually, mm. oh. that was meant to be my character saying it, but okay. <laughs> that's fine. Oh. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> um. Right, we met your friend. He gave us some info about an area in the desert that we're thinking about investigating. Uh, by the way, um, Mackenzie's your friend, not his. We met after. <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> and I'm the one with memory loss. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember being very close with Mackenzie, to be honest. And McKenzie's standing right behind you, and he's like, "What?" Well, no, it's, it's not that you, Mackenzie's your mate. It's that Mc, you, the, the yeah. connections to Mackenzie yes. are from you guys, right. not from Brady. I'm, yeah, okay, that's fine. Um, <laughs> so yeah, yeah, we bro. Need to in investigate. Well, there's one place we're thinking about investigating, but it's a long, long ass trek, and we don't. I don't think we should do that unless we're certain that we're going to find something worth finding. He says, yeah, he says, I mean, I've been asking around here to find out what's going on. And as you say, like, um, everyone around here keeps talking of all the, the Corys um, in the great uh, sandy desert worshipping this bat god. Apparently, he's quite a nasty one. Um, a nasty what? A nasty god? Yeah. He's a nasty god. Ew. Um, like... So far, we haven't really met any nice ones. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he says that, but he says that, the, you know, I've asked people around what they said, and they said that, um, um, you know, the uh, the the Corys, which is what they they call the Aboriginals, and um, they've been, um, they've, you know, there's been a lot of, uh, you know, back and forth over the years, like a lot of resentment, but, um, you know, things have calmed down over recent times, but there's been suddenly been a lot of deaths, caravans, uh, uh, um, corpses have been found by caravans, um, and they say victims uh, seem to be diseased and covered with hundreds of tiny puncture wounds. Ooh. Um, like stung to does death. anyone have any idea about this? Because we've heard multiple tales of, of these puncture wounds now. Like, what is it called? Do we have any idea what that's caused by? A sandblaster. Cacti. But. <laughs> cacti. Oh, cacti. <laughs> like, both those answers are <laughs> pretty weak. You've never seen a cactus gun before. <laughs> cactus. <laughs> yeah, um, you know, or cactua. I'm just trying years. to get this out there. That we can't forget the possibility here. <laughs> giant spiders. <laughs> he says, I don't know about anything about um, giant spiders, but the one other thing I could get is that a <laughs> <But> few... <cactuars. laughs> but a few people have said that the uh, uh, a white madman is said to be leading the bat cult. He says, but the problem is it's kind of like... Some people say that it's, there's just some like um, white man leading them, but then other people say that white just means half-breed around these parts. So they're not sure what it means exactly. Uh, How could white? Could be Desmond. <laughs> Desmond White. <laughs> I says. Um, I says. I, don't, I, I mean, it, it doesn't seem likely. It sounds like this has been going on for a while. And from my understanding, Desmond was traveling with you guys. So yeah, Desmond doesn't seem smart enough or good enough or <laughs> to do anything. Or handsome enough. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean, he couldn't even. I'm sure he couldn't even be involved with this, considering there's masks involved with this god, and he shits himself every time he sees a mask. So. <laughs> that's you know, maybe that's what masks fucked him up. <laughs> nah, we, we should don't. buy masks. just to... For what, as a weapon against him? Yeah, just next time we run into him. Moving away from he who is always named... <laughs> um... Voldemort. <laughs> <laughs> What's the plan, then? We're, our next lead is the shipments. Yeah. Yes. Which are apparently coming here as well. Yes. So we need to find out. It says, Brady, Brady says, yeah, I found... I mean, it says it probably wouldn't have taken much time to find, but the shipping company's not far from the docks, um, so we mm -hmm. can probably go down there and have a look and find out what's going on. Um... We need to find out where it's going, where that crap's going. 
It's going to the same place that the the lost city is meant to be. <laughs> is it's is told to be located. Then we're on to something. Is there a library yes. around here? <laughs> <laughs> um, it says, uh, I mean, Brady says, you know, there doesn't seem to be much around here. If we want to, like, get light, if we were looking for, like, those kind of facilities, we'd probably have to head to Concudgery. Oh, and how far is that? Uh, I mean, like, about a day by train, I think. And it's in the wrong Wait, direction. Mean library? I thought we were going to the dock. Yeah, I know, I'm just messing. If there's a library nearby, right. I could go have a little read read. There's a bookshelf over there. <laughs> <laughs> Filled with cocktail recipes. <laughs> just porn. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're the communal pawn for the bar. <laughs> and Vincent's like, get off my. <laughs> right, we're going to go to the dock now. Yeah, I think that's probably the best idea. Do we want to go under the cover of night? Are we going to. What's the plan? Are we going to go sneak? Do we need to sneak? Can we just go in there and talk and ask What time of day is it? Or... It's about 3 p.m., isn't it? Yeah, 3, yeah. Let's go and have a look, and then if it looks like we need to sneak, then we'll wait and go sneak. Yeah, okay, cool. We can get coffee. Oh, God, I need a coffee. Perth <laughs> Uh No, there's only a Starbucks around here. Oh, okay. That's fine. Uh, that'll do me. <laughs> go get me a pumpkin spice latte. Be right there. <laughs> Um, so yeah, you head across town. Um, there's there's a little. I mean, it's it's a warehouse, but it's not it's not a massive, not like a vast one. Even though there's tons of space, it, I guess maybe they just don't need it. But like, there's a small sort of wooden. It's like a, it's a large wooden shack, sort of um, masquerading as a warehouse. I'd, I'd say. Um, th there's like um, there's um, two big um, double doors on the side that are currently closed, and then a small um, door leading to I guess what's like a little office room with a window. Does it look like there's anyone about? Yeah, are the people working? Are there any shipments coming in? I mean, you don't hear any. You don't hear from the outside. There's no. There's no particular like signs of activity. I was going to say we would see a big ass ship if they were bringing in. I mean, I mean, ships. yeah. Bear in mind, obviously, it's a quite. I mean, this port's like. I mean, it's it's not like it's not super busy. Like you know, it's not like this is constantly ships coming and going. You probably missed the. Oh, excuse me. You probably missed um, any sort of shipment coming in actively. Perhaps. We just need to find some evidence of where it's going. Maybe we'll just find maps, instructions, <laughs> or something. <laughs> Bless you. Can I, like, find <laughs> someone that works here? Yeah, or uh, mate. Or what do you want to do? Like, knock on the door? What do you want to do? Yeah. Okay. I think we could knock. To all of us? All, all, all four of you at the same time. <laughs> 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 Punch it through. Hands. <laughs> Link off with one fist. And you hear, you hear, you hear from behind the door. All right, all right, I'm coming, I'm coming. And so you open the door and um, you see this kind of like, sort of like, like uh, uh, ugly fat guy who's kind of like got like five o'clock shadow and um, I don't know, like scruffy clothes, tattooed, and he's just like, what do you guys want? We are looking for a particular sure. shipment that has arrived. This is, have you paid for it to be shipped here? No, oh, we're just wondering if it has arrived. Yeah. Ah, I says... Come find the status of the shipment. So you, what's your relationship with the shipment? It's well, illegal. Shipment, we don't have a relationship. It's That's illegal. illegal. It says, oh, well, I don't deal with anything illegal. No, there's well, nothing illegal. Well, then there should be no problem. It says, no, absolutely. Yes. I mean, thank you very much. Thanks for your time. <laughs> I don't want, like this guy's jib. <laughs> so yeah. what, what do you want from me? To tell if it's, if it's here. That's none of your business. Oh. Is it not? I'm gonna... One minute. We're police officers. Where from? You don't sound like you're from around here. <laughs> We're being called in out of stairs. If if there's we suspect skills. any illegal skills. activity, we could we could get a warrant, but we thought we'd come across and be nice. Right. No, I was still <laughs> mid-conversation, mate. Um, I'm sorry. I, I, I am now gonna officer. take out the handle of my revolver and be like... It's for your own good, and I'm going to roll an intimidate roll. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> I was going to go down the cop route, but this is fun. Oh, that fucking fucked up. <laughs> that was going really well. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, Askew was doing good there, and then you just went. I don't know, I mean, I'm, so the, the, guy, the guy, the guy looks looks at your gun and says, "He says, oh, what a coincidence!" and like shows you the handle of his gun. Okay, but get the shot, and I'm like, roll again. <laughs> <laughs> I take we have out, a license to kill. I take out a spoon from my pocket. <laughs> oh, 
He says, uh, he says, I don't play those games. No. <laughs> <laughs> so you played Gunny Spoonie before. <laughs> and he pulls, and he, and he pulls his other cut aside and pulls out a massive spoon. <laughs> <laughs> It's like like a ladle. Yeah. <laughs> right, what, are we, what are we doing? What are we doing? Can I find out because we these the shipments that are from um fuck I can't we, remember the name that it's from. Can Carl, we take oh. a name off your find, sir? It says um um uh, Randolph Toddy Randolph. Mm, I've heard Toddy, of him. my man. Because I'm not your man. You're my man. You're gonna be. You're gonna be, my man. <laughs> <In 20 days. laughs> he, he puts his gun away. <laughs> he puts the spoon away quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we got off on the wrong foot, Toddy. So that's for sure. You've got a family at home. We don't need any trouble here. And don't you? So that says, what, 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 are you threatening my family? No, what I'm saying is... <laughs> We don't need any casualties here. Casualties? Oh. Mm, I might hurt myself slipping over. <laughs> There's a health and safety risk in this here building. It says you haven't even seen inside the building and you're not going to. We did yesterday when... Um, Your mate Frank Giles was on the door. What? And it wasn't Giles, what was his name? <laughs> <laughs> This isn't going well. I'm just going to stare at him until he... <laughs> <laughs> you've you've made... Off, you've, you've... You're tough not to crack, Toddy. I like you. <laughs> he's, oh, a... he's that tough, I think. It, just went out it's just a bit confused at this point. <laughs> Toddy's how far, not... How far out is this place and like how busy is it? Um, like, it's... I mean, it's not... I mean, the thing is, it's not. It's just off the docks. There's, there's people wandering about. Okay. No, oh, he's just going to go... <laughs> Blow his head off. Look... Um, come on, let's put this behind us, Toddy. Who's the boss? Can we really speak to your manager? So it's my company. Oh. It's the Randolph what Shipping we... Company. What are the? I'm what Toddy are... Randolph. <laughs> you could have been the... his brother. I don't know. What other countries know. do you ship to, um, Toddy? He says we ship all over the world, wherever it, wherever it takes. And yet, this is your main. Um... This is where you spend most of your time. This is your home office. You are at your Australian yourself, or yeah. He says I used to have um, I used to have a guy work for me, but he was a bit of a troublemaker, so got rid of him. But I don't know. We we make do. We don't um we don't get a huge amount through here, but certainly enough to keep me in business. And when you say you got rid of him, you um, fired you, him. Oh yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. Yeah. I mean, he doesn't always come to the spoon. Mm. Mm. What's I was name? fifty dollars to swear you. To swear me for what? We Let, me speak. Let me speak. Let me speak. We're 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 doing you a favour here, buddy. We want to. There are suspicions about you and your company. Whoa, and now that I'm speaking who's to the who's owner, saying, who's saying what? Saying you're shipping illegal stuff. We already said that, man. There are suspicions that you're shipping illegal stuff. We're either gonna, as you say, you got nothing to worry about, so we're gonna prove them wrong. So you can either give us some info, or we'll go. We'll we'll double check who your old employees were, and we'll ask them. Says you're you're welcome to ask whoever the hell you want. Okay, what was then? Who who did you recently fire? It's none of your Give business. It's none of your business. Hmm. Mm. You're not right. a very helpful, man. What if we want to do business? This isn't the kind of way to run any business. No, no. If people come to me and ask to ship things or receive things, I I, I work with them politely and I give them. I, I you know I'll, I'll work to help them out. But when you we'll come to... want to receive some well, information. Well, hold hold your horses. When you show up at my door, threatening me with spoons, asking about asking about other people's <laughs> shipments, like I know that this isn't business you guys are looking for. You guys are looking for trouble, and I, you won't I find it here. A one shot. I would just shoot the guy. <laughs> <laughs> I should have been rolling for some sort of persuade, shouldn't I? Hmm. Persuade or law. I could use the law to freak him out. I've already tried the cop route. No, yeah, but use the cop route. Oh, I'm going to arrest you. You could tell him what kind of sentence he'd be looking at. Too long. What kind of repercussions his family would be dealing with if he was found to be guilty of shipping illegal items mm. can i roll can i, can no, let I me, just is that okay let me just let me just help you out a little bit <laughs> no. uh -oh. let me just help you out a little bit oh. 
don't if, like needing if, help. If you're talking to a guy who knows that he's shipping illegal stuff, tell him, like, he's not, he's, he's not going to... I thought gonna he would do, like... Yeah, come look, and he'd show us like the clean area of the warehouse. What? That's what I was assuming. What if, what if he knows? Breaking bad style. What if you were talking to a guy who knows as soon as you start looking through his warehouse, you're going to find illegal goods? Then there's nothing we can do to get in there apart from bugger off and come back we later. We could l- listen, Toddy. We have some illegal stuff to ship. I'm going to level with you, and we want to know that you're the man for the job. And at the minute, <laughs> it's looking pretty good, but I want to see what's inside to make sure you're capable. He says the thing. I've learned about people who want to ship illegal stuff. Is that they don't ask this many questions. Yeah. (laughs) Normally it's uh, you don't look in, you just ship it. You don't know. You don't ask questions. Just do it. And also, they don't tend to call it illegal stuff. (laughs) (laughs) Well, that's what it's called. Can I just, like, can I just... uh, Punch the gun out of his hands. It's not in his hands. Oh, what did he put it away? He just showed his. He showed, he showed it. He showed Let's his coat. Let's just come back. We'll, we'll be back. We'll be back. Let's just oh, come back later. Tell that. Oh, or can I just fight him? What? There's like people everywhere. He may be. Oh, are there? There's employees I everywhere. I, thought, yeah, I, thought, I, thought, I, just I had the same guy. idea. Yeah, <laughs> oh, um, right. Kieran already asked. There's people around the street. You know. All right. Okay. We could pretend well, he's clear, attacking us. He's clearly ah! not. He's clearly not a cultist. He's clearly just some fucking money yeah. fucking cunt. Yeah. Let's just come back later. We'll, yeah, we'll, let's just come back later. See we'll you, see Toddy. You, we'll see you around, Toddy. Uh, Brady says, well, that could have gone better. Oh, no. I didn't know you, Brady. <laughs> I should have brought my biggest spoon. Yeah. Brady says, why don't we um, see if we can find out who that who the, who the we let go? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Should we try and stop? Is there like people working? Like obviously not on forklifts, but is is there any like obvious workmen around, wandering around on their breaks or anything like that? I mean, there's there's people manning various things around the dock, like moving um, goods in and out of ships and things like that. Should we ask one of them? Sure. Mm. Mm. So what do you want? What do you want to say? Uh, excuse me. It says. Right. Excuse me. Alright. Alright. You're shouting. He's like, alright. Right, right in my face. Excuse me. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, what's um, up? Just got some questions. I've been looking for a job, and I heard of a job's just opened up recently, and I'm just wondering if you could tell me about the role. Which? What? What job? What, what role are you talking about? There was a, a role. <clears throat> Where? In the in the warehouse. Oh, the Randolph place. You don't want to work for him. He's an asshole. Why does he? I heard. I heard he sacked someone. But yeah, Billy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, he just like Billy starts um, you know, shooting his mouth off about um, about local legends and shit like that. He, um, Toddy ain't got time for that. He just he, he, <laughs> weird. <you know. laughs> yeah, to- Toddy ain't got time for any of that shit. And just um, told him told him to hit the road. Mm. What kind of local legends? Like, what was he speaking nonsense or? Oh, I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't hold with any of that shit. Everyone around here's got their own, um, got their own tales to tell. You know, it's the heat, the desert sends people a bit, you know, crazy. So he's just acting wacky. Yeah. Well, I mean, he wasn't acting wacky, but he started. He, he um, I don't know. He just starts talking about um, a bunch of, bunch of, um, you know, nonsense and um, t- trying to convince, um, trying to convince everyone around here that we need to be worried about some shit or other. But Toddy just wants mm. to get his business done and gets them um, and tells Billy to hit the road. Do you know so, where this so road his, was? So his, his staff turnover is quite high, you would say. Yeah, pretty pretty high. Like, I mean, mm. people don't want to st- people don't want to stay working with him because he's a bit of an asshole. Mm, okay, uh, maybe we'll pass on the role then. That role. Do you know where Billy prepared. lives? Could we meet uh, a big drinker? You know, I don't. I mean, maybe I ask around the bar see if someone knows. I mean, I don't think he's a drinker himself, but somebody probably knows where he lives. Does he got a nickname like Billy the Bullshitter? <laughs> 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 so I, didn't, I never really cut his full name, but he's Billy. Everyone knows Billy. Billy. Well, clearly, no one knows him truly. I mean, maybe you know me and him. We never, we didn't, we didn't Netflix and chill or anything. But like, <laughs> <laughs> what on earth are you talking? About? <laughs> is it, what is a Netflix? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go and find. <laughs> <laughs> and, he, and you ask him, and he, and he, show, he grabs his net, and he goes, whoosh, show oh, oh. Mighty fine That's net. chill as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and then they sleep with each other. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, sir. Then it's, a, All up. it's an Australian thing. Yeah. <laughs> For the experience, I get out my spoon. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> let's let's go track down Billy the Kid. Oh yeah. Billy the Weirder. Should <laughs> <laughs> so we head back to the barn, I guess? <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Um. So yeah. Um. So you head to the bar. Um. Uh, Brady asks. Uh, Brady's already made a few mates here. Asks around and says, um, "Nobody's nobody's seen Billy recently, but um, he's got a, um, a small shack just up the road." <laughs> Brady's been getting turnt with the locals. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, since we've got a, this, he's got a little shack up the road. So I mean, I don't know what he's been up to, um, but he has. I mean, I haven't seen him work anywhere else since he got let go from uh, from Randolph's shack. Mr. Randolph didn't pay him well. He'll be getting a visit from HR. <laughs> <laughs> should we go to the shack? Yeah, yeah. Why not? I, I don't like the careful. sound of it though. He's got a shack. He lives in a shack. Is that like normal around here? It's Australian. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Like people, this, there's a lot of a lot of people here who are living in small shacks because they don't. You know, this is a small town, and people who haven't got people who haven't got good money are living in pretty rough accommodation. Okay, because when we're from a shack, kind of sounds like the boogeyman would live in it. <laughs> so as long as that's not. What's happening Good here? And we're good. Yeah, and it does. Yeah. Um. Anyway, I don't. I don't know. Okay, we'll go visit Billy. Is he? Is he got anything we should know about him? Anything you find out about him? Part of the fact that he's called Billy. Uh. So what does he say? Billy. Uh. The people in the the bar said Billy's been going on about um uh some uh legend of um uh, someone called Budai. A great old man who sleeps with his head in his arm and snores beneath it. Um, this, le- this is like this old folktale legend of the day, but I will rise and devour the world. Whoa. Um, um, but like, I don't know. I mean, Billy always seemed to have his head on straight, but he's been hanging a bit, too, uh, hanging around with the curry a bit too much lately. Do you, um, do you know what he did? Was he like a driver for the warehouse, or was he? I just uh, no. He just load. I mean, no drive. They don't really drive much around. They're just like loading and unloading. It must go somewhere. Yeah, yeah. The boats. Fair Okay. Uh, well, I assume there would be some inland travelling. Not, not really. No, the warehouse is mostly for things. Um, goods are. Um, I mean, good goods are shipped, but not. Um, but that wasn't like Billy just moved stuff to the um to the boats and back. Right. So from the warehouse to the boats. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then boat to where? Right. Okay. Oh, okay. That's weird. Because that's. Mm. That was his right, job. Okay. Yeah. 